Hello, my name is Anna Hamilton and today is Friday, February 23rd. We are called to act with justice. We are called to love tenderly. We are called to serve one another, to walk humbly with God. Saint Pope John Paul II said in the year 2000, we are still a long way from the time when our conscience can be certain of having done everything possible to prevent crime and to control it effectively so that it no longer does harm. And at the same time, to offer to those who commit crimes a way of redeeming themselves and making a positive return to society. If all those in some way involved in the problem tried to develop this line of thought, perhaps humanity as a whole could take a great step forward in creating a more serene and peaceful society. In today's reading from Ezekiel and Matthew, we are reminded about what is right and just. God tells us so many times in the Old Testament the value of walking with Him daily, to act in a way that is holy, virtuous, to turn away from sin, and to love God and our neighbor as self. It is simple to be a just and holy person. We know that because of the sins of Adam and Eve, we've been given the choice to choose between right and wrong. These choices show our true character. Are we the fool or are we the righteous one upholding God's commands? To be a peacemaker for the Lord requires our childlike innocence. Whenever I visit the prisons and spend time with the inmates, I'm awed by their brilliance of how they are learning to see God in their gifts. One man drew an image of Pope Francis being greeted by Our Lady of Guadalupe. This image served as a reminder that no matter our station in life, we are loved and called to serve our brothers and sisters. Another man made a vase and flowers completely out of gum wrappers. It was stunning and took great patience to complete this work. These gifts offer tokens of peace and reconciliation, especially for those who have already faced the judge and now must survive in an empty cell. For some, prison is penance, for others, a hell, and for many, a chance, a redemption. The choice to make a new heart for oneself lies in the depths of our souls, and we can determine our fate, but know that God never leaves us. Our freedoms lie in the kingdom of heaven, where there is no more hatred or pain. Where will you stand this Lenten season? The choice is yours to do as right and just. Sing with me and pray these words. Come live in the light. Shine with the joy and the love of the Lord. We are called to be light for the kingdom, to live in the freedom of the city of God. We are called to act with justice. We are called to love tenderly. We are called to serve one another, to walk humbly with God, to walk humbly with God. Amen.